So in an article by Jordan Raynan, um, sources have told ESPN that the New York Giants have fired their offensive line coach, Mark Colombo, over a heated confrontation that he had with head coach Joe Judge about bringing in an offensive lineman consultant uh, to the team. So basically, the, the information that I have is the New York Giants fire O line coach Mark Colombo, and um, they fire him after hearing Joe Judge was going to hire Dave D. Googly Elmo, who actually used to play, who actually used to coach with Joe Judge in New England. Um, words were exchanged, no punches were, were thrown, which was a rumor that was going on when it first speculated. Um, D. Googly Elmo will take over as the offensive line coach, which I think is funny that you were upset about this guy consulting for you and then you end up getting fired and they end up replacing you with him. That's why I think it was fun. I think that's kind of funny. Columbus, 42 years old. He played 10 years in the NFL for the Bears, Cowboys, and Miami Dolphins. He worked as an assistant coach for the Cowboys for the previous four years. So that was Columbus' uh, resume. D. Guglielmo um, was the assistant O-line coach and a quality control coach for the Giants from 2004 to 2008. So he does have a Super Bowl ring because remember they won in 2007. Um, he also worked with Joe Judge in New England from 2014 to 2015. I think they won a Super Bowl that year too. I think that was the, the, the year against the Seahawks. Yeah. I could be wrong though. Yeah, I think that I was believe. it. Yeah, because I think the yeah, because the Broncos won, I think, the next year. And um he was the offensive line coach for New England when that season was being held. So Nate, your thoughts on this situation there. First of all, it's petty. I mean, why are you complaining? I mean, you're getting you're getting more help. That that team needs more help. It's the New York Giants. They've fallen apart ever since they won that last damn Super Bowl. There's no one from Buffs about it. That team needs as much help as they can get. Why are you complaining? It's that simple. And, and, and I'm right. glad there's no punch of stone. But again, you're you know you guys are you guys are uh, excuse my mouth here, but you guys are grown ass men. I mean, you know, and you're getting all this help. Just take it. You know what I mean? You may not think you need help, but the the, the way the team's been performing says otherwise. So I mean, I, I, right. I find it funny how the dude he was complaining about took over his job. I find that very hilarious. But as a as a uh, um as a um analyst standpoint, I think this situation is very petty. I mean, you know, I agree. As a person, I think it's petty. I think it's petty too. As a person, it's like why why are you complaining? You know what I mean? I, I think he was complaining because he was probably thinking that his job was in jeopardy, which I mean, you know, I, agree with that. I mean, you know, I, I, I mean, I can get that part, but like at the same time, you know, first of all, let me, let me tell you this as well. You're not in charge of who you hire and who you fire. Your, your job as a, as a coach is to coach. You coach the O-line. You do that. That's your job. You don't control what you do on in the, in the front office, unless if you're a head coach and you're a general manager at the same time with Bill Belichick, but you ain't. You ain't that. You're an offensive lineman head coach. You're an online head coach. Uh, uh, excuse me, coach. Don't uh, excuse the head out of that. But you get my point. Your job is to coach the offensive line. Nothing else, just a coach. So I don't see where the, I don't see why you got a problem with it. Again, I probably think it's because his job is in jeopardy, but at the same time, you're going to start a fight over this. I mean, come on. I, 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 I feel like he did that to himself, to be honest with you. I just don't know why the situation even happened to be him. I think you're 100% on the money. You know, I have nothing to disagree with you about right there. Um, Joe Judge did, did release a statement um, in, his, in his words. We appreciate what Mark has done, but I felt like this move is what's best in of interest for the team. That's basically what he said. Um According to Colombo, they said when he was going to hire um, D. Guglielmo as a consultant, he didn't take it. He didn't take it well. And um, recently, for the past few weeks, the often um, go. I'm going to point out Andrew Thomas because that's the uh, example that they gave me. He the first like few weeks he wasn't that great, and in the past few weeks he's actually been uh, better. Um, they said among Colombo's top jobs, he has been working with the Giants' young offensive lineman. Three of their first five picks this year dra were drafted offensive linemen, including number four overall pick Andrew Thomas, fifth round pick Shane Lemieux. It was recently interested in starting lineup in the third round selection. Matt uh, Pear or Pert, I can't pronounce that, had been rotated in, but Thomas struggled early and his sloppy technique became a topic of conversation. 
we sat down, had conversations with Andrew, talked about taking his technique from the practice field to the game. These are in quotes. That is what he's done lately. Colombo said last week, he has a new air of confidence. The past couple of weeks, he has been play, playing really well. His timing had been better. His pass sets have been better. His run blocking has been better. We just have to keep growing. I've, I've noticed he's more confident, Andrew, than the past few weeks. That was those, that's what Colombo said about Andrew Thomas, their fourth overall pick. And um, I don't know what type of relationship he had with the rest of the offensive line. I'm not sure. And that's, that's a part, that's a factor into it too. If you had a good relationship with a coach and all of a sudden he was fired, but that's happening in the NBA all the time. Yeah. And honestly, you're hundred percent right. You know, your job is to coach, you know, they bring a consultant and, you know, like that's, then they bring a consultant in. nobody's undermining you. Okay. But obviously they're not the best offensive line, even though they have been improving. And even this one guy doesn't mean like, you know what I'm saying? It's, yeah. it's still a problem. And so, and so I don't, I, I'm not a coach. I'm not an offensive line coach. So I couldn't tell you how, uh, how other offensive linemen coaches would feel about this situation. Maybe all of them would not like it, but as a person looking at it, I think it is kind of petty. Is um, I've petty. heard rumors. Uh, I've heard rumors about them yelling, throwing punches, spitting. I don't know. The only, the only thing coming out of this ESPN article was words were exchanged. The name and the name column was involved. That's about it. I'll put it but, like um, other than that, I think it's, Petty situation, yeah, and I think it was very unnecessary. And because of the uh, because of how unnecessary it was, Colombo lost his job to D. Guglielmo. And I and I and I'll put it like this: If you're the New York Jets, I'm, excuse me, the New York Giants. My bad, I got the two New York teams mixed up. If you're a New York Giant, and, and put it the New York Jets too. You're in the they're in the same damn situation as well. If you're a New York, if you're a New York Giants, you need to be all the help. All right, I'm not. I'm not saying anybody's bad at their job or anybody's bad at playing football. The way the team, the way the team is uh, producing its product on the field, it's just not, and it, and it haven't been doing that for the last few years. So if I'm the New York Giants, and and it, and if I'm in a position like Joe, uh, uh, Joe Judy or whoever, I, I I think that's his first name. You gotta get the help. You can get. I don't know why. I don't know why Mark Colombo was getting as mad as he as, as getting as uptight as he was. I mean, nobody's saying that you know you're doing a bad job, you know. But you're you know you're in a bad situation like the New York Giants. Kind of need the help you can get. And I don't know why this dude was getting all mad. About it. Yeah. So I mean, it was all unnecessary because of it, he got fired because of it. Dave D. Guglielmo took his job. You know, you could have had like more if you just like let it go. You I, if you were upset about it, I understand, but you could have kept it like you could have kept it personal. Yeah. Um, you know, maybe you could have proved that you were a good offensive lineman. Maybe they wouldn't have need Dave D Guglielmo, or maybe you would have went to a different team. I don't know. Maybe they would have hired him anyway, but you would have had more time. One thing's for sure, you would have had more time to work with your offensive line. And so, because of the pettiness, you know, you got fired, Colombo. I think Colombo got picked up by a different team. Not probably maybe next year. I'm not sure who, but it, I think all of this was just unnecessary. I agree.